an incredibly impressive performance, and the game plan that Dan Hurley laid out was executed to perfection. Iona Fair March bid into the madness ends against this juggernaut of UConn. They are incredible. St. Mary's trying to keep on fighting, but Connecticut has just had too much for them. Jordan Hawkins takes him up to a 31-point lead. Miami, just no match for the Husky Express, heading to a Monday night championship appearance. Dan, I want to go to how you guys have been able to dominate teams in the second half. I just think the depth of the group and um, I think not having necessarily like an Achilles heel. Like we rebound the ball uh, at a high level. You know, we defend top 10 defense in the country, top five offense in the country. And we have this culture of, of playing incredibly hard. Uh, you know, we never lose because of lack of effort. It's body blows to the opponent until we feel like we can, you know, get a knockout late in these games. Huskies who have been blowing out all their opponents to get here. And they open up with an outside shot. So during Saturday's game, and it struck me at one point when Bobby and your dad were looking at you coaching, you watching your brother win championships at Duke. You watching your father be a Hall of Fame high school coach. And what, how does that make you feel that they were watching you at one of the greatest moments in college basketball? I think it makes them happy, but I'm just, I, I know that they're so happy um, that after all this time, I mean, you're talking about you know, probably 40 real years of full commitment being a basketball lifer, uh, you know, to finally, you know, break through and get to the pinnacle of, of where I am. And, and there were so many struggles as a player and as a high school coach and getting fired as an assistant. I, I know how happy it's making them to see me finally, um, you know, reach this point and because uh, they know about all the struggles. Back to Newton. Newton under the basket. Back outside, Caravan. We got another one at the buzzer. What's that going to mean to you to see the Hurley name on a national championship? trophy. That would be incredible, um, but I'm not even there. You don't even let your mind go there, um, you know, and uh, but now you got my mind going there. That, that just blows it. Talking to your dad, like, he is so proud of you. Now you've got a chance to do something that he never did. How, how do you put that into words? Did you have a chance to do that and make him so proud? Yeah. I mean, to be in the, uh, you know, to join him in a national championship, <laughs> you know, fraternity. I know my dad is proud of uh, of the way I go about coaching, and obviously winning it would, would be a, a dream come true, and in a moment none of us would ever forget. And, and I know that he looks at that and, and sees that that's where he's had the, the impact. I mean, he's the ultimate competitor, and so am I. I think he sees in his son, you know, that he went about coaching the right way, and now he sees his son doing the same thing.